Hey, what's up, guys? It's Stencils Gaming back with another Minecraft video. I don't know where they went. Does someone know where they went? Anyways, I had two people who wanted a shout out. I had two people who wanted a shout out, but I have no idea where they went. Um. Oh, there they are. Okay. So shout out to um. Um, I I I, I can't read that name, but F. But F L O E nine nine hundred and sixty seven and I think that's Kaylee sixteen. But anyways, but anyways, t today guys we're actually going to be we're actually going to be looking at some we're actually going to be looking at some tips on how to on how to start from a dirt hut to this. Now, so, so yeah. I'm gonna need to um, quit the server right. I'm gonna need to get off the server right now. So um um okay. I gave you a shout out. I'm gonna leave. Bye. I don't know if they said anything. Okay. And I'm leaving. Hello? Video. Stop. Now, um, apparently, um, and, um, so, yeah. Okay, she, she, she said, oh, my. Okay, so, I don't think that you guys can hear anything right now, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can't hear anything. Can you hear that? I don't think you guys can hear that. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna start playing, we're going to go on to my building test world. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing some things. Loading terrain. Okay, so I kind of planned this video out. So this right over here is the tower hat. Now, I want you to go down into the comment section and say one thing that's bad about the tower hat. Alright, if you guessed location, you are correct. It is in the middle of nowhere, right next to a modern mansion. No, 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 no. Location, location, location. You gotta have location. You, you won't find an igloo in, in, in a desert biome. Uh, you won't find that. So yeah, location is number one on the list. Let's check that off. Bing. Next up is shape. You're not just gonna have like some weird normal square house thingamajigger. Yeah, you're not gonna have a square house, which is what I'm trying to attempt to build. It needs to look a little bit more detailed. If you hear some stuff in the background, that's my sister. She's doing some things. Uh, can you turn it down? Anyways, so yeah. 
you're not going to find a house that looks like this. Maybe if you're very limited to resources and it's like your very first night, um, I can accept that. But still, you're not going to have a house that looks like this if it's if you're like fat on resources. So you need to make a cool kind of shape, which is what I was doing, which is what I was doing in the, in, um, over there. So, so yeah, you might want to have like some cool shapes, you, you know, like maybe copy this all around. You know, like maybe copy this all around, you know what I'm saying? How far does this go up? Three. Uh, speed up the video, please. So, so, so yeah, this looks this looks better already, if you ask me. Now, the next thing that you need to do is height, height, and uh, and shape. Does it pretty much go together? You're not going to have a house that's only that, that, that's a head hitter house. You're not going to have a head hitter house like like a house that's like a house that say for example has like an entirely flat roof, which is fine when you're doing like modern houses. It's just like not in this case scenario. I mean, like, it's a head hitter. Don't want head hitter house. houses. So, yeah, size is also another thing. Size is also another thing, but, yeah, I don't think we'll go too detailed into size. Next up is exterior. Exterior is basically what's around it. So, so, so let me just real quickly build up three blocks, and uh, I'll catch you guys when I'm done with this. Maybe cut the video or speed it up. I don't know. One of the two. have the walls up in place now it's just a matter now um all you got to do is just add the the final layer of protection of wall for of wall because you know me i don't like head hitters i don't like head hitters so yeah don't do head hitters they're like really bad Anyways, so um, while I'm doing this, let me talk to you guys about exterior. Exterior is basically what's around your house. Um, sim it could be simply just, it could be simply just, you know, um, it could just simply be like a pool, maybe a pathway leading to your house. Now, right now, um, number one in this case scenario isn't being followed location. It's not being followed right now because I'm using stone stone brickable things that's the only thing that i have in my inventory and i don't want to go through all my inventory and oh yeah yeah that'll take too long it'll take too long so definitely so definitely so yeah exterior it's good now the first step of exterior i would probably say you need to do is a pathway leading to your house is it is a pathway leading to your house so let me get some um Shovel, some gravel. Where's the gravel? There's the gravel. And some coarse dirt. Now, right now, I didn't do a good job of making a flat roof, but who really cares? Okay, so so now so now you gotta pick where your door is gonna be. I want my door to be right over here, so you can just make like a little opening. But yeah, just you just randomly place it where your pathway will be going, and then in the end it'll look somewhat cool.
Now there is your path with walking into your house. Now you might want to have like a welcome mat right over here, but uh, yeah. Next up, next up is interior. Interior is is what you need to do best. Now, depending on what type of house you have, depends on what type of door you want. You're not gonna have a wooden door in something that's made out of entirely stone bricks. I don't know. You're gonna have an iron door. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? I mean, like, of course it does. Okay, so we are going to slap that on the ground, and then we have the wooden button. So now, okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to clear out all of this um, grass, because you, you, because it, in, unless your house is like um, a greenhouse or something, I reckon that you just clear out the grass. Okay. Next up is flooring. You want your floor to be kind of grand. Now, I suggest if you're working on like a modern house, then you use then you use like um wood. Any type of wood is fine, but I like oak or jungle wood. Those two I those two I think that uh, those two I think are good woods. Maybe acacia wood is good. Is also good, but who really cares? Oh, and by the way, um the the the, the floor on the door also needs to be also needs to be um or the block under the door i should say needs to also be so i'm gonna real quickly um speed up the video and yeah So we have completed that part. Now, now the ne now the next part of interior design probably has to be it probably has to be um just just general interior. Like I mean, like you can end there if you want to, but like okay, you, you know one of the essentials is crafting tables. So yeah, you're gonna need some crafting tables, but you might want some like enchantment tables you know like enchantment tables or like cool maybe um i don't know what else is there maybe um a jukebox no oh, what am i missing i mean like we got the chest or uh, maybe an ender chest anvils maybe might want anvils what else do you yes want? i don't have to make any money maybe painting would be good yeah, you can have a painting, an armor stand, that'd look cool, and a dragon. And I'll just add a dragon head on the armor stand just to make it funny. I wasn't done yet. Yay. So there's our enchantment table. Let's slap that over there. We have our ender chest, our anvil, we have our armor stands, we have our dragon heads on the armor stands, okay, we have our duke boxes, and we have our painting. Slap those stupid things over there, and maybe some down here. Okay! So that's pretty much um the interior done. Wait, windows. I totally forgot windows. Yes, um windows are part of the interior. I reckon that you use panes, not I reckon that you'd use panes. If you're going for like some sort of modern style, you might want to use black stained panes, black stained panes, or light blue stained panes. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. I don't really care. Let me just slap these over here, because, you know, we're like, we need light all over, baby. All over. Okay, so, so that's the interior done. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I never fell in this hole. Let me just put that over there so that the viewers won't get angry. And maybe a glowstone. And maybe just a glowstone right down here. And maybe a glowstone right over here. It's not off-center. 
as you can see, it's centered around two blocks. So yeah, uh, and we also need a way to get out, so let's get our button. Now you could use a pressure plate if you want, but I like buttons. Oof, I was trapped inside. So yeah, that's the interior done. Now, now, now most YouTubers don't actually fill their interior with any design. Which is kind of what I don't like. Oh yeah, and also sunroofs. Sunroofs would would somewhat look cool on on a no, it wouldn't look cool on this type of house. But like modern houses, yes. Now there's some extra detail involved, such as pools, flags. Now I personally, now I live in the USA. Now I live in in the USA, and I am just going to get the blue. Um, the red, uh, red wool is better actually, and yeah, we're going to make our American flag. Now, you might not live in America, but I live in America, so yeah, I'm making it. Alright, so, we are going to, now, the main thing that I would suggest about this is that you really shouldn't make it too big, and that the rectangle is actually, um, a rectangle this way and not the other way, like, horizontally a rectangle, like, like this. Now I know that doesn't look like the American flag if you know what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure that everyone here knows what the American flag looks like. But if you are unaware what the American flag looks like, it's pretty much it's pretty much there is a um blue part. There is a blue part of the American flag. There's a blue part of the American flag. It's like this small it's it's just a small little square thing or or rectangle. And basically, and and there are fifty and there are fifty stars in it. But yeah, I think that looks like a good one. But there are fifty stars in it. Now I couldn't fit fifty stars in there if I even wanted to. But those fifty stars represent the fifty states. And then there are stripes. There are thirteen of the stripes, which represent the thirteen colonies. Now, obviously, I, I can't fit any of those, so we're just gonna have it like this. Now, obviously, that looks kind of cool. Now, let's get the pool in action. Now, let's get the pool in action. To the pool. I don't want the pool to be too deep. It's a problem. I use there? Maybe slap some glowstone down. It might look kind of good. And now we fill it in with water. Now, obviously, I'm too lazy right now, and I and I can't, and I won't be able to actually fill in the 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 dirt down here. But no, but 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 no. Um, you should probably like replace the dirt down here with. With quartz, because that'd be um, that that look much nicer. Not only that, because not only that, but but then your um, but then the people who's actually swimming in your pool won't be swimming in just pure dirt. But yeah, the, the, um, but yeah, um, hell. <laughs> okay, but that's pretty much um, some cool house features. Now, if it's meant to be a scary house, then then if it's meant to be like a scary house, then then it sh then it should have like a huge like crooked tree next to it or something. If it's meant to be a modern house, then you can have like balconies or, and pools in the front and everything. And maybe like this bush outline that I did over here. <laughs> or or say for example it's a medieval house, maybe you can have a sword stuck in the stone or something. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, it's basically what you want to do. It's basically what you want to do. But yeah, theme is another thing that I forgot to mention. Theme is a theme is something that I forgot to mention, which it, and theme is kind of helpful when you're doing it because, like, say for example, Halloween theme and everything. Yeah. Alright, so I filled in the pool, I filled in the pool, you might want to have like an outline around here. But yeah, I guess I'll just do the outro while I'm doing this. So, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a big ol' like and also comment down below what your favorite tip was. And if it actually helped you to become a better builder. Because I know that like, um, a lot of, cause like, I know that like, a lot of, um, people that see my builds are just like are just like whoa you gotta teach me how to do some of this stuff so yeah um and i was like go check out my youtube channel or something. so yeah i guess i'll just need to end all the video here i might take a picture of this for the thumbnail but you, 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 you know what um yeah i'm gonna take a screen time of this for the thumbnail Alright, screenshot has been made, and I might want to take another screenshot of this little dirt hop thing, because come on, it's going to be funny in the thumbnail. So yeah, so yeah, make sure to also hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you'll never miss another video, because, you know, I'm the best YouTube channel ever, and, you, and come on, like, who wouldn't want to see one of my videos, eh? Eh? But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, by the way. Hey. There you go, screenshot has been made. And... And... Oh, come on. And... Good boy.